Palm oil is a vegetable oil harvested from the reddish pulp of palm oil trees. It is used in a staggering 40 to 50% of household goods, for example in perfumes, shampoos and butter. Palm oil trees grow where heat and rain are abundant. 85% of the world's palm oil production is exported from Indonesia, where in 2008 alone, 19.2 million tonnes was produced. This puts an enormous amount of strain on this region and its other resources, e.g. people, animals and the environment. Here an abundant rainforest is being destroyed using the slash and burn method, where they cut down rainforest and then burn the undergrowth. Here forest fires can catch easily and further add to deforestation. At its worst, 300 football fields worth of rainforest are cut down every hour. This is not only an excessive production of palm oil, but also destroying the habitats of many animals such as orangutans. In the last 20 years, 90% of orangutan habitats have been destroyed. This is causing many animals to go hungry and having to move feeding ground, causing them further stress. This is making it easier for orangutans to be found by poachers who can lay in wait for them in the new man-made vehicle tracks, instead of having to make their way through the inhospitable rainforest and heavy undergrowth. The illegal pet trade is benefiting from the deforestation. Baby orangutans are being stolen from their mothers to be kept or sold as pets. It has been predicted that orangutans will be extinct in the wild within the next 5-10 to 10 years. Conservationists are working hard to help all the orangutans misplaced by deforestation by capturing them and moving them to areas of protected rainforest. However, this is hard and dangerous work, but when successful can make all the difference. Native inhabitants are affected by the production of palm oil. Whilst there are economic advantages for some, there are downsides for others. Many people are experiencing land rights or uses conflicts, with the government reportedly leasing land to corporations for plantations that local people claim to be their own. This means that the people who live in and depend on the forest have their self-sufficiency and self-autonomy taken away. According to the Pollution Standard Index, or PSI, pollution levels in the air become hazardous to health at 300. In September 2015, Indonesian PSI levels nearly reached 2,000 the knock-on effect being felt globally and notably in Singapore. Despite these dire notions, there are solutions to these important issues. Firstly, the use of sustainable palm oil is a very viable option. 50% of all palm oil consumed is sustainable. Although this shows progress, there is still a long way to go. If you visit the RSPO website through the link below, you can see which companies are still to commit to buying their palm oil sustainably. Consuming sustainable palm oil products is one way that you as a Western consumer can help. This is a more conservationist-led topic, however it might benefit from more anthropological knowledge and input in order to create a common ground that would help them work together to develop feasible solutions for the future.